everybody, welcome to Food Talk TV. Tap the screen, share the live. And don't forget, today is the last day to vote for Grub Match. So go to foodtalktv.com, click on Grub Match, and you can vote for last Monday's Grub Match, which was Sketchy Chef and a City Girl's Kitchen. Today we're doing Chicken Catch Tori. Mm -hmm. I have already made the pasta. Uh, my arm's kind of hurting, so I didn't want to do it on the live. So I'm going to get my pasta water on. Who's, who's in the box? Should be scared. Hola. Hey, Hello. Sketchy. Hi there. How are you today? Great. Today we are doing chicken cacciatore. Hi, Dixie. <laughs> Hello. And I've already... I've already made the pasta. Oh, nice. Um, it took me a while because my arm's kind of hurting, so I went yeah, ahead okay. and did it. Okay. Ma'am? Say again? No, I said, okay, it looks good. looks good. So I was going to do it on the live, but that's just a little bit too much right now. Too strenuous. Okay, it's okay. It's so, okay. Hello, Kimber. Hello, everybody. But we are doing homemade pasta. We're doing chicken cacciatore. And we're going to also do polenta. Ooh. And. Yes, Jerry, they're homemade. I was about to say, those are homemade. While I'm waiting for the pan to fill up because I don't have okay. a fancy kitchen like Sketchy has. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Let me just say, everybody, welcome to Food Talk TV. We are a group of 12 creators. Today, we've got Chef Bradley going live. Someone goes live every single day. And he's making chicken cacciatore, homemade noodles, polenta. <laughs> What else, Dixie? He's got a whole feast going on. Yeah. Um, you can find us. Uh, you can follow us right here, and you'll always find someone cooking live. And then we are on all social media. And you can rewatch this on YouTube, on Facebook. Um, and you can go to foodtalktv.com and learn a little more about our creators. We have all our recipes posted there. Okay, go ahead, Bradley. Okay, my pasta water, I'm going to add a lot of salt. Okay. You got to add a lot of salt. As Gordon Ramsay says, if your pasta water doesn't taste like the sea. Like the sea. Exactly. It should, it should taste like the ocean. <laughs> so here we go. We're going to season the chicken. I use bone in chicken thighs. Okay. Uh, traditional chicken cacciatore. They use the whole chicken and cut it up. Okay. I use bone in because I like the taste that the bone brings to the the flavor. There we the, go. The flavor that the bone brings to the to the sauce. So we're just gonna do some salt and pepper. Okay. Sunny Sassy Sally, happy Sunday. And what does the salt do? My pan's heating up. Bradley, you have you have a question here. Some um, Jane Smith is asking, what does the salt do? Very beginner to cooking. The salt flavors the pasta. Also, the salt. Most people, a lot of people, use the pasta water as a broth. Right. So they add it, which I'm going to add a little bit to my. My tomatoes in my broth for the, it's actually, you know, spaghetti sauce or gravy. So you add it and it just, it adds flavor. There you go. So your pasta did not come out with no taste. Right. So. Hey, Dixie, which one of those pieces is yours? Did you put your mark on it yet? Oh, not yet. I haven't. I got to wait a little bit. <laughs> While we're cooking today, we're going to use safe knife handling skills. <laughs> Hold it properly. Bradley, Bradley points with his knife the way I do. <laughs> Cut it off. Yes, does. This is the way, this is the best way to chop an onion up. You cut the okay. end off, you turn it upside down, then you cut it in half. Lay that half down. 
feel it. Hey, Jane Smith, don't forget to add your salt to your pasta water. <laughs> what is he cooking? He's he's already got some homemade noodles that prepped. He's going to be making some chicken cacciatore and polenta. What am I forgetting? That's it. That's it. There we go. Is that not enough? I think it's enough. We just I'm just go, I'm just going over your menu. Uh, gluten free mama Anne is here. Hello, Andrea. Yeah, so uh, if anyone is in here that hasn't added salt to their water, don't forget that. <laughs> oh, look. <coughs> William says, I, re I replant the bottom part of the onion. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. One of my sons um, always what? plants the green onions. <laughs> well, what I do, okay, when you cut an onion, you can do it. There's a lot of ways to do it. This is how I do it. It's not right. It's not wrong. It's just how I do it. Okay. okay. And you make your slices here. Being very careful not to cut your fingers off, right? Hashtag save the fingers. Now, <laughs> at this point, you can, you can slice down the onion. But I found if you just chop it like this. They already have their little slices, their little preparation. They already have their little slices. Yeah. So you just chop it. Don't cut your fingers off. Yep. And then this piece right here, I'm going to use that in my broth next time. There we go. So. That's flavor for next time. That's flavor. This is flavor town. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so chicken catch Tory is basically chicken that is fried real flash fried for for the skin to be become crunchy and but it's all it's cooked in the sauce so when you fry your chicken up you don't have to worry about whether or not the chicken's done because it's going to cook in the sauce right right okay see with my cuts i'm using the, the knife, the way the knife is shaped, right? Right. To cut. You don't have to do that. Chopped our health kitchen. This ain't chopped. <laughs> so there we go. There's the onions. I and then you're going to put the chicken in. Skin <laughs> Bama's in here. She said, no, you're talking to her, but I think you're talking to me. <laughs> uh, Sherry, he's talking to all of us. <laughs> Is anybody else supposed to be in the box? Or is it sketchy? Nancy's Man, well, there's, it's showing two guests. Let me check real fast. Sorry, y'all. Okay, nope, we're good. Hey, Cass. Sketchy. Gloria Silver, your screen is black. I don't know. Maybe you want to go out and come back in because I can see everything from here. Hola, Kaz. And I just saw that Dixie saw you before I did. <laughs> There's like a little That's delay, you know. <laughs> so, everybody, welcome to Food Talk TV. We hope you are following. If you're not, please give us a follow because we have someone who cooks live every single day. Today is Chef Bradley, and he's got some homemade noodles that he's prepped beforehand. He's going to be making some chicken cacciatore and polenta. Okay, you can find any part of this live um, on Facebook and YouTube if you miss any of it. And the recipe for this will be on foodtalktv.com. Um, we are also on all social media, so you can find us everywhere. Tell all your friends and family, and tune in to watch us cook every single day. Today's the last day to vote for Grub Match. Just like Granny is here. Hola, Ashton. Hi, Ashton. Ashton, I just said what he was making like one second ago. <laughs> he made some homemade noodles, and he's he's doing his chicken cacciatore right now, and he's going to also make some polenta. Kaz, his arm's hurting pretty good, so he did the pasta earlier. Hey, Sketchy. 
Yes. Tell them about Grub Match and today is. Oh, right. yes, yes. So, and also right here on Food Talk TV, we have Grub Match. It is a one of a kind show on TikTok. It's a competition style cooking, and it's me against a competitor, or it could be anytime another uh, Food Talk TV creator. Um, last Monday was our first Grub Match. We had a City Girls Kitchen in. And the audience gets to, gets to actually pick who won that. You can rewatch that on YouTube and you can vote at foodtalktv.com. So Monday will be our next show at 8 p.m. Central. And we have That's So Chris will be cooking. And after the show, the audience gets to vote. So, you know, I recommend you tune in. Follow us right here. And again, you can go to foodtalktv.com to vote. You can rewatch the previous one on YouTube. And you can also sign up to cook if you've got a thousand followers or more. So let's do it. Yes, Sherry, I hear him chopping too. So what are you cooking today, Sketchy? Um, I'm thinking soup. I don't know what kind of soup, but soup. I have to prepare for tomorrow, so my mind is like, I'm trying to keep it simple, you know? Okay, Bradley, so you want to tell everybody, like, what exactly goes in chicken cacciatore? Chicken cacciatore. You have chicken. <laughs> Surprise. Uh, onions, bell pepper, um, white wine, tomatoes. Tomato sauce, uh, Italian seasoning, and salt, pepper, stuff like that. Yum. Okay. So. So it's fairly simple, right? I mean, it's it's approachable. It's a recipe anyone could probably do, huh? Okay. Sorry, it's really loud here in the kitchen. Say that one more time. No, I said chicken cacciatore. It's fairly approachable. It's like. A recipe probably anybody could do. It's not like difficult, right? No, it's not difficult. And everybody has their own version of the way they do it that cooks this. Um, like I said, traditional chicken cacciatore, they break down the whole chicken. They use the whole chicken. Um, some people like just to use boneless stuff. I like to use the bone in because it gives it more flavor. So I've been cooking this for a long time, and I've always used the bone in. And yeah. And ambitious like chicken. So. Mm -hmm. I'm not ambitious today, Sketchy. Yes, everybody, tap the screen, show that. Let's try to get him to twenty thousand likes. Let's do that. Let's let's set a goal. There's the chicken. It get... looks very sizzly. Yes, I'm afraid to get too close. <laughs> yeah, don't get too close. <laughs> Looks good. I love that sound. There's the noodles. Those are homemade noodles, okay? All right. I'm going to do polenta. So I'm going to take three-quarter cups of water and one cup of, I use the Red Mill polenta. Okay. I'm going to put it in the water and I'm going to let it soak for about 20 minutes before I cook it. Good idea. That helps it get a little you know what I'm saying? Oh, there. Yeah. Look at that chicken. Oh, Pammy Pam says, I can tell those are homemade. My Nona used to make the noodles. Yeah. Wow. Did you hear that, baby? What? Uh, this Pammy Pam says, I can tell those are homemade uh, homemade noodles. Her Nona used to make them. Yep. I like making homemade, but I'm just not with my arm. I'm just not. I didn't want to do it live because it took me like twice as long. And then there's the comment, my grandma never used peppers. She was Italian. I suppose everybody probably has their own way to make it, you know. Recipes always differ. 
No, not homemade. What, what do you mean, not homemade? What? Doc, uh, Dr. Bev P. Thank you for putting a splatter screen so I don't burn myself. <laughs> <laughs> so I got... Yeah, I watch Moses too much. Now I'm cleaning up behind myself. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, Chef God. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, he has not had that effect on me. I repeat, he has not had that effect on me. <laughs> Came to the kitchen this morning after last night's little oh. thing. <laughs> 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 oh, it smells so good in here. I bet. Oh my goodness. Yeah, last last night's live was a little crazy sketchy. Yeah, it was I was still talking about it this morning. It looked really, really good. It was great. I had it for breakfast. Yeah. Oh really? <laughs> Huge. No kidding. That's crazy. That's I was, amazing. I was very, very humble. Um, user bunch of numbers says chicken thighs, best part of the chicken. I agree. I like chicken thighs. And Sherry says, not me either. You mean, you mean Moses hasn't had that effect on you either? <laughs> uh, uh, Believe me, my kitchen is a mess and I'm proud of it. <laughs> said, uh, chicken thighs, best part of the chicken. Yes. They cook the best. I like chicken thighs too. They taste the best. Okay, while we're watching this chicken sizzle, let me say, everybody, you are watching Food Talk TV. Welcome in. If you are not following, please give us a follow. We go live cooking every single day. Today is Chef Bradley, and he's making chicken cacciatore. He's made some homemade noodles, uh, and he's making polenta. Okay, so you can find any part of this live, uh, if you miss it, on YouTube and Facebook. And we're on all social media. We also have Grub Match every Monday night. It's a new show that we just started. It's a competition style cooking, and the audience gets to vote for the winner. So it's 8 o'clock tomorrow night after the show. Voting starts. Um, you can also sign up to cook against me. You know, if you've got what it takes, bring it. And you can sign up at foodtalktv.com. You know, you have, to, you have to be able to cook, and you have to have at least 1,000 followers. You know, so TikTok will allow you to go live because you have to go live. But anyway... In the meantime, please tap the screen, share the live, and follow us right here on Food Talk TV. Got my sauce going, my water's on, my chicken's about ready to take off. <laughs> Tina Davenport says, we learned growing up the best cooks clean as they go. Well, let me tell you, uh, that might be true, but it's not always true. <laughs> <laughs> that may or may not be true. <laughs> we, we are in trouble, Sketchy. <laughs> well, I'm in trouble, but you know what? I hate cleaning. What can I say? I love to cook, but I hate to clean. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, hey, what here are you cooking the chicken thighs at, babe? <laughs> yeah, I, I am going to invite Bobby Flay, okay? I don't know. I don't know if he has what it takes to go up against me, though, but, you know, whatever. Invite Bobby Flay. That's so <laughs> I'll invite Gordon Ramsay too. Okay. Yes. So do it. Okay. User. And they can bring it. Eight nine one zero two two zero six four. He is cooking the thighs at. Would you say medium high? Medium high. Medium high. Remember, we Sin are city salt. Hola. We're not cooking the chicken. We're just browning it. It's gonna cook in the sauce. Sin city salt is in the house. That's gonna be so good. Oh, fresh basil. There we go. Gotta have fresh basil, right? Always, always. And that's gonna go in my sauce. Ooh, that's so pretty. Yep, it is. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, Ashton. Fresh herbs are better, but you know, sometimes it's hard to get them. Then you have to resort to dry, but fresh is always the best. Yes, we grew we we grow our basil. 
I do too, but with the cold weather and stuff, it's I don't have it anymore. I gotta replant yeah. some. Yeah, it's it took kind of took a hit. Yeah. Chicken out. Look at that pretty chicken. Gorgeous. Whoa. Dangerous. <laughs> Pammy's Pammy Pam says, Oh my god, this is going to taste amazing yes yeah. it is yeah. yes in city salt he's making chicken cacciatore and those noodles that you see he made those they're fresh made ready to go into the water and then he's gonna also be making some polenta we're just gonna take a little bit of the oil out and then we're gonna add onions and bell peppers Okay. We're going to saute those down. All right. Going to add a little bit of salt. I need to refill that. Sorry. Pepper. Nice. I feel like I can smell all that again. Oh my gosh. Wonderful. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to put my finger in the way. Now that's going to go for about six minutes. Okay, you have it timed. <laughs> And I didn't put the chicken bits, all that was still in there, so all that flavor is getting incorporated in there. Okay. Veggie. Added salt and pepper. Tina Davenport says that she's in love with those shakers. And Charlotte Collins says, What kind of pan are you cooking with? That is a hex clad. And those those uh salt and pepper shakers you can get on Bradley's Amazon shop. And actually, the hex pad you can get through his TikTok. <laughs> I'm gonna let that cook, cook, cook. Hey, you all talking about the salt? I just want to say that I have those electric things, and it looks yeah. like a lot of salt. But if yeah. you would do it in your hand, not that much salt really comes out. Like it takes it takes a while. Really, it's it really looks like a lot. You know, it looks like, but it's not. That's exactly what I was gonna say. It's really yeah, it's not. not. As it looks look. And actually, that's why I don't like to. Yeah, it's it's not like you think. Yeah. See, it takes a minute to get the salt. Yeah. It really looks That's like not a lot, even but it's a just, teaspoon yet. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. Bad. So. <laughs> I got my little add on stove sketchy. Yeah, nice. You know, you got to do what you got to do, right? <laughs> <laughs> if you don't have a six burner, you make a six burner. Exactly. <laughs> right? That's it. Thumbs up, just like Granny. Bama here? Yes. Hi, Bama. She was here. And I gave Ashton a thumbs up. <laughs> <coughs> uh, City Girls Kitchen. Hello. Peppers ever burned. Hola, City Girls Kitchen. What? Tell me what's cooking. I'm making today. I'm making chicken cacciatore with chicken thighs, um, polenta, and my homemade noodles. Nice. I burnt myself on your six. That's burn. something. That's something I've never made. My kids have made pasta. They've made gnocchi. I have never made any type of oh. pasta homemade. Well, yes. I love you. Yes. We'll do it this week. All right. I have the flour. I bought semolina especially, like, to make it. Although I've been told uh, by someone I won't name that it doesn't matter what kind of flour you use, but, you know, whatever. It, it really doesn't. It depends on the texture that you want. Okay. If you use AP flour, you're going to have a more silky texture. Okay. Don't throw 
flour kind of if you mix the two then you'll have a good pasta that red sauce will stick to so okay. you can have half ap flour half double zero salmonella flour is just the traditional pasta right right, so right. Okay. you can also make bread with it you can make pizza dough with it a uh, pizza crust you know pizza dough so that's it that's thank, you, thank you, Ashton, for the for the tip. I, I almost burnt myself. I forget this is here, and I'll get right up close to it. Now we're going to add some garlic. We're going to let that go for about a minute. So now, okay. the, now the house will start smelling really good. Yep. After you add the garlic. Let that go for a minute. Oh, pretty. Looks so nice. Chicken. Oh my and God. there's the chicken. Oh. That chicken is ready to swim in some sauce. That's for sure. Yes. Pasta. Beautiful. Not pulling stuff back there. All right, now one cup of dry white wine. Okay. You know how Italians are, they got to have wine in their food. Go to Dixie's. Now you can use There you go. Use chicken stock. <laughs> I was going to say so do Mexicans, that's me. <laughs> but the most important thing about this is you've got to let the alcohol cook off in the wine. Okay. Unless you Why? Dix Dixie would drink this right out of the pan. <laughs> I know, right? We know. Why do we need to do that? <laughs> Don't let that go for a minute. <laughs> you know, there, there's some there's some comments in here. People are wishing they could smell, or you know, you could scratch and sniff, or whatever. <laughs> no kidding. I feel like I can almost smell it anyway. <laughs> hey, Sketchy, guess what? What? I can smell it. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, everybody. So tonight, this is one live we have going on today. And tonight we have another live, um, 7 Eastern, and that will be October Dragonfly. She'll be cooking on Food Talk TV. So. Food Talk TV sticker scratch. <laughs> and, oh, my gosh. Hey, now that's a good idea, Ashton, actually. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, so this is cooked off a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. So guess what I'm going to do now, Sketchy? What? What are you going to do now? There we go. Wait, when you make your pasta, uh, do you let it dry first? I let it sit for at least 30 minutes to an hour covered in um, plastic wrap. And then when I roll it out and I cut it, I flour it and I let it sit out for a couple hours before I use it. Look at that sketch. Beautiful. Now we're going to let this simmer for a little bit. He has this, he uses his immediately. You can use it immediately. Um, the reason I like to let it rest is because I like for the gluten in the in the in the dough to kind of settle out. Um, I've never had gluten-free pasta, so I don't know what what that's about. But I hear some of it's good. I hear some of it's not. So if you add gluten-free pasta, let me know how how it is. Tap the screen. Have you had gluten-free pasta? Sketchy. Um. Well, yes, but it was on accident. We bought it on accident. And since, you know, you know, some people use it because they need to. They they they're sensitive to gluten and they just can't, so they kind of don't have a choice. And in that case, I totally understand, but I can't eat gluten and I bought mine on accident and I did not I did not I don't remember what it was, but um it kind of fell apart in the water. I didn't care for it. 
<laughs> so thank goodness I can have gluten. <laughs> I'm because I'm all about the gluten, you know. But everybody, welcome to Food Talk TV. Um, we are a group of 12 creators. Someone goes live cooking every day. Today we have two creators live right now with Chef Bradley. And later on tonight, 7 Eastern, will be October Dragonfly cooking right here. So if you're not following, give us a follow. Uh, any part of this live, you can rewatch on YouTube and Facebook. And you can find us on all social media. We also have Grub Match on Monday night, which is a, a competition-style cooking show. And you and the audience is the one who picks the winner. So, you know, we need an audience and we need you all to vote. So um, after the show, you can go to foodtalktv.com to vote for your choice of winner. It'll be on tomorrow at 8 Central, okay? We're also looking for contestants for Grub Match. If you cook and you have a 1,000 followers and you're able to go live, please sign up to, to cook against me. And maybe one of the other, uh, you know, Food Talk TV creators at any point in this. And again, it's 8 p.m. Central tomorrow night. You can go to foodtalktv.com for all the info. Yeah, and right now, Bradley's making chicken cacciatore. There we go. What did I, forget? I forgot to say that. He's, he made some homemade noodles. He's making up some chicken cacciatore. He's got his hex cloud ready for part B. What are you doing with that? I'm are you just telling it? everybody, look. How I, easy it is to clean? I just fried chicken in it. I did saute. And look, I just washed it out. Are you being Moses over there? Are you serious? You mean you're cooking and cleaning? Look at that. Dixie, is, is Bradley losing his mind? <laughs> hey, he, he's, he's cooking and cleaning. I'll take I'll take that. That's fine. You'll take it. Okay. <laughs> this is okay, my, look. This is my one day off. I don't want to clean. <laughs> Chicken. Wow. In the there we go. It's going for a swim. There we go. Inside up. Okay. Skin side up. Okay. If you do it skin side down, the sauce won't absorb into the chicken. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, it sure does. So we're putting the chicken in there. You can hear the crunch on it when you pick the chicken up. You can hear the crunch on the skin. Really? Yes. I love that sound. <laughs> the chicken does Ooh. not have to be totally covered up. Okay. If you know what I mean. Right, right, right. And now we're going to bring it to a boil. That it just looks so good. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful. We're going to cover it, but not all the way. Okay. You want to leave it? You want the, the, the steam to come right. through the pot and go through that chicken. Got some, some steam space there. Okay. You don't want... No, the not breaded yeah the chicken is not breaded he just he just fried it in oil like partially mostly cooked <laughs> and look at that 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 space is looking really clean dixie i know <laughs> wow i'm so impressed <laughs> i had i had all of this clean this morning and oh, then, and then cooking happens, but you know what? It's it looking makes, pretty good. Oh my goodness, as it goes, I'm loving this. <laughs> it's looking good in there, Bradley. Oh my goodness, you're making some of us look bad. <laughs> <laughs> Me, <laughs> we have 12,000 <laughs> likes. You all tap the screen. I, I think I'm making Show it Bradley make some harder. Love. At least. I'm making it harder on me, Sketchy, because now she's going to expect this. I know. Now you have a standard. Oh, forget it. Douglas, he is a keeper. <laughs> I think I'll keep him around for a while. <laughs> All right. So, so, so Ashley Turner says this is making her want to make chicken cacciatore, and she makes it similar, but she adds a few other things. We'll make that chicken cacciatore. Yeah. Every, Do it. Every family has their own recipe. Um I just keep it basic and simple. I do the tomato sauce. I do the 
chicken. Um, then I do Italian seasoning and base, fresh basil, salt, pepper, and that's it. Hey, where did you get the stainless steel table? I got this stainless steel table at... Oh, I got this from one of the restaurants. I do heating and air conditioning, and they were remodeling a restaurant to do another restaurant, and I got... They gave me this table, and they gave me these these little. Oh yeah, I like those. So I use these when I when I put my stuff in, so I have everything ready. Yeah, I got like two hundred of these. Yeah, <laughs> we use them a lot. I've got some. I've got twenty, not two hundred. <laughs> there is another table that I want to get, but me and Kaz are in a gifting battle. <laughs> So, okay. This you is have a, a question if, if, if you're for hire to cook. <laughs> Do what? There's a question here. Is he for hire to cook? Yes. <laughs> what? Are you for hire to cook? Actually, yes, I am. Yes. No joke. Yes, he is. So, over <laughs> my skills. Real quick. Okay. Okay. The way you hold the knife is your fingers. You grip the blade with your fingertips. Put your hand, fingers on the blade, just like that. The only time you need to take the blade off of the cutting board is when you're chopping something or cutting something big. This ain't, this ain't chop where you're doing that. We're just chopping, 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 chopping. See that? The blade fought my fingers. There's, there's virtually... I mean, any, anything's possible, but I'm not going to cut my fingers if my finger's not in front of the blade and these fingers ain't sticking out. Does that make sense? Yes. So, knife skills, safe knife skills. What Dixie calls it. Hashtag save the fingers. Save the, save the fingers. <laughs> I, I started that hashtag. Um, <laughs> Edgar... Ed Gary, yes, he does have bay leaves in the sauce. And you are a baker that is awesome. I love I love to bake. He's a he's a baker looking for a table like that. Ooh, nice. That's it. That's what I put in the sauce. That's the way I do it. So um can't speak. <laughs> now we're gonna Yes, we're going to go ahead and do the start the polenta. This is going to be too good of a meal. Do what? I said this is going to be too good of a meal. You have pasta and polenta with cacciatore. It's like it's too good, you know? It's. it's... Chef Jeff, hola. <laughs> Jeff, God, we were just talking about your cleanliness. Oh, and then Sherry comes in for the win. Who? <laughs> Bam, Mom, me and Kaz are in a gifting war. <laughs> and then Sherry comes in and kicks both of our butts. <laughs> Bam, Mom is awesomeness. You go, bestie. <laughs> Bam, Mom is awesomeness. Yes, polenta is filling by itself. I made some the other night just because I was hungry and put brown sugar and. Oh butter. my God, Dixie, you know how to do it. Yes, ma'am. First time I never made it. You know, I like it savory and sweet just as well. Like with grits, I like them savory or yes. sweet, you yep. know? Yep. Same. Um, the night before we uh, had polenta with, uh, yeah, Parmesan cheese in it. Just, it was just some Parmesan cheese and it was so That's that's what I made last Monday night. I made the veggies over the polenta with parmesan. Okay. Okay. Go to foodtoptv.com. Click on Grub Mats. Today is the last day you can vote for Grub Mats. Last week, Monday night, it was Sketchy Chef. A City Girl's Kitchen. One hour culinary battle. But you have to decide who won. So go to And so you can watch that on YouTube. You can watch oh, well, it on YouTube. Yeah. Go to, go to Food Top TV and vote. The voting is until 6 p.m. 
Central Standard Time. And then tomorrow, Sketchy at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time is cooking against That's So Chris. Is That So Chris in the house today? I haven't seen him. I don't know if he's... He is probably practicing. <laughs> he's in his laboratory right now as I, we speak. I <laughs> practicing if I was going up against Sketchy. <laughs> He's in his laboratory right now. Yeah. Get stuff oh. together. <laughs> Dixie, how does it smell in there? Oh my gosh, it smells so good. California Huntress in the house. Hey girl. Anything anything that starts with oh my god, you know it's delicious, you know? <laughs> California Huntress. Hola. So how many minutes will it take for you to boil those noodles? The noodles will take about 90 seconds. <laughs> 90 seconds. That's because they're French. <sighs> okay. About 90 seconds. I like them El dente. Edgar says he's jealous. Me too. I'm jealous. I want to be there today. So the polenta is going to take longer than the noodle. That's for sure, right? Yeah, the polenta takes about eight minutes total. Everybody tap the screen. Let's get up to 20, 20K likes. I know, Ashley. Did you see that, Dixie? Dixie's oh. reactions and commentary always make me feel like I can smell it myself. Me too. <laughs> well, thanks. I try. <laughs> <clears throat> tap the screen on my phone. I'm afraid to tap and, and get... You know, I'm afraid to touch anything on here. Yesterday, I tried to scroll the, to see the comments, and somehow I made the comments disappear. So I don't want to touch anything. Uh -oh. But everybody, welcome to Food Talk TV. If you are not already following, please give us a follow. And hey, for all you regulars, Thank you for being here. We really do appreciate you. Okay, so you can watch any part of this live if you missed any part of it on YouTube and Facebook. Um, and someone goes live cooking every single day. Today we have Chef Bradley cooking. He's got some homemade noodles he's about to boil in a little bit. And he's making chicken cacciatore and polenta. <laughs> it's a and that polenta is spitting right at you like a, like, <laughs> like a llama. <laughs> I had to get back. I was like, oh. Like an alpaca. It's like... <laughs> oh goodness let it get away from me sorry it's going sorry you know now you've got some more cleaning to do that's karma uh -huh. you know you like to clean there you go <laughs> okay done that was that was easy <laughs> I would have left it till tomorrow <laughs> You know, I was like, I wash it, I thought. Did I not wash it? Oops. I'm slacking. I thought I washed the lid for that pan, but apparently I didn't. Whoops. Oh, it's bubbling. Look at that. So yeah. pretty. Yeah. How does it smell, Dixie? Oh, my gosh. I'm so hungry. Yeah. And I ate while ago, and I'm already hungry. Already hungry. Yeah, I bet you that smells so good. Yeah, the fish from his live last night. That's what I had for breakfast this morning. I just oh, my goodness fryer and reheated it so good that polenta is talking back look at that yes, Ivy, hola there we go we got it under control sketchy sorry that's good that's good okay look at this look at that that's what I've been wanting to see. Yeah. Ooh, pretty. That's, oh my gosh. The sauce already changed color. Like, it looks so good. To put that into a candle. Oh, yes. That's a good idea. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So Actually, good. I don't know. Dur during the holidays, um, TJ Maxx had, like, Thanksgiving flavored candles. Did you see those? <laughs> no. They what? were, like, turkey and stuffing, macaroni and cheese. <laughs> Oh my god! Mashed potato. My daughter bought them. I'm like, what? <laughs> That's crazy. 
Really? It was kind of weird, you know, in a candle. <laughs> yeah, that's a little different. But hey, you know, whatever works. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. Chicken cacciatore in a candle just might work. I don't know. That, it yeah. Might, it might work. Um. I, oh, my gosh. It's a corgi butt. <laughs> Uh, Ivy, it's Chicken Catchatory. All right. I know everybody, everybody likes their Instapots and buying pre-processed stuff. I have a passion for cooking, so everything I do, I have to do from scratch, including grating my own cheese. I'd rather spend the dollar ninety-eight on this and grate it myself than spend five dollars and eighty cents on a pre-grated bag. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So I'm just going to grate this up nice for the polenta. Nice. Okay. Yes, getting close to that 20K goal. Let's go, y'all. Let's tap that screen. Share the live. I just, to me, this. I like to grate it as well. It's there's You know exactly what's not in it. You know what, what? I'm saying, Sketchy? What? She's not even paying attention. I am. I'm listening. I said, what? what? <laughs> See? Why is that so hard to do? It's not hard to do. It's easy to do. Sports it's super easy to do. Greater attachment. Oh, wow. Do what? Oh, Ivy says, uh, yes, we just worked on a KitchenAid greater attachment. Best $40 we've spent in a while. I want to get the KitchenAid sand mixer someday my my hamilton beach i was using it the other day to make some pasta dough and the bowl flew out doesn't lock in like a kitchen aid does so i want to get one someday bradley you already have one i told you what you have one dixie and bradley i told you i told him huh he can tell you afterwards you already have one. Oh, you're serious Yes, I'm serious. I told you I have two of them. Oh. <laughs> cool. Well, yeah. they're both they're both like in new condition because it's not like I use them every day. <laughs> so okay. you go. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome, sir. I love Parmesan cheese. Me too. Mm. Don't you hog me too? I'm <laughs> like, don't you hog all that? You better share. <laughs> Fresh Parmesan cheese. Mm-mm. 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 Ashley Aaron Turner says she likes the way fresh uh, fresh shredded cheese melts better and it tastes better. Me too. I think it tastes different. It tastes better. Mm. Like, especially when I make tacos and I if I buy the shredded, it doesn't taste like when you freshly shred it and put it on the taco. It just tastes different. Mm. That is so good. You know, sometimes when you're like, let's say you're taking things and you want to have it already pre-made, those conveniences are good, but Whenever possible, if you can do it yourself, it's just, you know, it gives it that extra layer of better flavor, I think. Okay. Lent is almost done. Okay. My pasta water. Is it's it perfect. boiling? Is that the ocean in the pot? The <laughs> ocean in the pot. All right. Salt, 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 salt your pasta water. Look at that, Dixie. It's all nice and clean. I know. <laughs> He's cooking and cleaning. Wow. I'll still go through afterwards and sanitize, though. <laughs> the, the final touch-up? Yeah, I got to sanitize it. I actually got that from him. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. So, I don't know if everybody knows, but January 11th, I start back to school. Oh. I didn't know that. I'm going to finish my culinary. I'm going to get my degree in restaurant and hotel management. Oh, okay. Okay. So. Well, congratulations on that. Might as well take advantage of it. The Army's, the VA's paying for it, so. Oh, okay. Well, then there you go. And that's that. I wish they'd buy me a new kitchen. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> 
Ivy I, says that's exciting news, Bradley. I'm and you have a that's wonderful. Yeah, it would be interesting. A City Girls Kitchen says awesome. That's awesome. October Dragonfly. Hey. Hey, Candy Lady, who's cooking tonight? Okay, my Flinta. Oh, Lil' Kim says, thank you for your service, sir. I'm going to add a little bit of butter. And if, you, if you're going to melt butter in something, if you cut it up, it melts faster. Okay. Thank you, bestie. And October dragon I'm going to put some Parmesan cheese. Hi, Lane. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. You know, of all the spices in my kitchen, I still think my salt and pepper, you know, sometimes that's really all you need. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. The, the best steak I ever ate, just all it was was seasoned with salt and pepper. Salt and pepper, you know. And and cook properly. Right. And look how look how creamy that is. Yes, it looks beautiful. So now we can let this sit on low heat. Very low heat. Because the longer it sits, the creamier it gets. Pound cake French toast. Holy um, holy. Is Kimberly, I he's making he's got chicken cacciatore simmering. That's polenta. And then he's got some noodles over there that he's about to boil, and he made those fresh. Those are fresh-made pasta noodles. And he's got his ocean water boiling. Okay. Christine is listening to the live. Lane is watching for her. She is making uh, pound cake French toast tonight. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Lord. Pound cake French toast. I love French toast. Pammy Pam says she loves polenta. A ask her how the how's the how's the coffee shop going, Christine? Exactly, Ivy. That's correct. You want to taste the food, not the spices. Oh. Cherry says she's so proud of you, Bradley. Oh, Bama! I love Bama. Here we go. Yes, Mikey. In the water. Fresh pasta is the best. There we go. He says he says it's going to take ninety seconds for the pasta. We, we need a timer, a countdown. I have one in my brain. <laughs> That's where mine's at too. Okay, Dixie, we have to have another, 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 another question. What does it smell like in there? Oh my gosh, I can, I can smell like all the spices. Yeah. Almost like I can smell meat separately. It is. Oh, I'm hungry, and I wasn't hungry when we started. Right? Just the I smell just smell alone. Ate. I know. Yes. Look at that pasta. Look at the change already. Oh my goodness! Beautiful. I want to taste those noodles. Come on. <laughs> I'm not that far away. How far am I from you? Five hours. Like five hours. Five? Ah. Oh! Because you're not you're not that far from Gainesville. So no, yeah. not that far. Yeah. Yeah. We're about five hours from. Gainesville. Okay. I'll be there. Uh, not next weekend, but the, well, I, in two weeks I'll be in Gainesville. Really? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to gonna have to, I'm going to have to go bump into you. That works. I'm going to go okay. on birthday with my family and take my son to his daddy's. So we're okay. going to be for the weekend. Oh, Mikey says my family is from Palermo, Sicily. Fresh pasta always. Wow. Ooh. Okay. Sorry, I got to show y'all. I know, Ivy. Food Talk TV needs to start working on bringing us smell vision No kidding. No. <laughs> right? Like for the full experience, right? You get the full experience. I know. I dropped my phone. Right. Over there. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Ashley, just watching makes us all hungry. Smelling it's like, oh. Well, Dixie said she wasn't hungry until she started smelling it all. Right, Dixie? Right. Well, I was eating because he went live last night, made those fish tacos. And so I, I ate homemade or I ate leftover fish for breakfast. Beautiful, Lunch. Bradley. Brunch, I guess. <laughs> Good save. Good save. 
Perfect. Yay, we have 20K. Come on, guys. Let's keep going. Mary Ellen says it looks awesome. Sherry says Chef Bradley is awesomeness. Yes. Look at that. Here it goes. Oh, my heart is starting to beat now. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Keep on tapping that screen. I think I'm falling in love with those noodles. They look so good. We're gonna make we'll make them this week, Sketchy. Okay, okay. I need to make I need those in my life, okay? A city girl's kitchen said I want pasta. <laughs> me too, me too. Mary Ellen says looks good. So there's the fresh pasta. Nice. Very nice. Except in my house, I probably need like triple that amount. <laughs> yeah. My boys will just eat that, and, you know, one just bite. a little bit of olive oil. Okay. Yes, we, we saved the pasta water. I'll say Mikey said my grandmother always saved a little pasta water. Oh, look at that. You know, you can tell the difference just even looking at that pasta. It looks so much different than when you buy it in the store, you know? It's so pretty. Like, yeah, it just looks so, it looks beautiful. It looks. Uh-oh. What did I do? I hit a button on my phone. There we go. I got it back on my phone, not yours. There's the polenta. Beautiful. Ivy says, absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> no kidding, Sherry, right? We could just have a picnic somewhere. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm game. I like picnics. <laughs> I want to see Dixie in two weeks. <laughs> I'm going to bring her a KitchenAid. Oh, sweet. <laughs> oh, I almost dropped my phone again, daggummit. Look at those noodles. No. You can tell. Like you can tell. They just they even have a different look. Oh my gosh, look at it. Um, hello, chicken cacciatore. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I think traditionally, like we always do, we need to have Dixie take a taste. <laughs> Just uh, not not on camera this time. That, that, that's the tradition. I, we just need to hear you. We don't need to see that, you, okay? We just I, need to hear you react to that. <laughs> oh, Look at that. Gorgeous. But not that one because that's the picture. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll make sure and get some good pictures. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful. And now here's some for the polenta. Who's getting polenta? Who's getting noodles? Did Look, you, Ashley, Dixie Ashley said we, we, need like, your, we need your uh, reaction. What was that, Bradley? Dixie's getting both. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> me too. I want both pasta and polenta. Oh, my gosh. Look at it. I'm so nice. excited. I bet you are. I'm excited. I'm not even there. Oh, my goodness. Still on pasta. Sherry's sending you uh, star faces and heart faces. <laughs> <laughs> No, oh, you're so pretty. Look at that. So for for anybody that wasn't here and is just coming in, welcome to Food Talk TV. Please give us a follow. And right here we have Chef Bradley. He made some chicken cacciatore with homemade pasta and polenta. Mikey says it's beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, my goodness. I want that one first. I don't know which one I want first. I want both of them. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Be me very careful. Leftover polenta, you can put it in a dish, flatten Oops. it out, and put it in the refrigerator overnight. And the next morning, you can cut it out into squares, and you can fry it and have fried polenta with eggs. Right. I was going to say the leftover, you can put it in my mouth. <laughs> there you go. I'll eat it. Cacciatore. Cass what? says he'll take the polenta. Chicken cacciatore with homemade noodles and chicken cacciatore with polenta. Oh, 
beautiful. Hola, Chef Camilo. That looks so nice. Okay, Dixie, get a taste of something. Hurry, we need to hear you. Okay. Hold on, I'm getting it. Yep, he's going to make me, because I was going to say, I, I'm going to take pictures of this before I... Of those, yeah. Sorry, I did not mean to put my fingers in front of the camera, y'all. We have other people wanting your uh, opinion. <laughs> <laughs> a City Girls Kitchen says, good job, Chef. Mikey says, oh, big decisions. Just put a, a little bit. Dragonfly or Lane says that looks yummy. Polenta looks awesome. Sherry says, um, I need this in my life. Me too. Okay, look. The chicken is cooked through. Nice. With the sauce. California Huntress says, gorgeous. Throw a little pasta on there too. I'll just do it all at once. Dixie's going to do it all. <laughs> That's a good attitude, Dixie. <laughs> I like I'll just do it all. <laughs> I like food. That is one thing about me that I can say I am not a picky eater. I like food. Oh, he's giving you the sprinkle. Okay, you're going to hold this, but don't, don't put me in the camera because... I look horrible. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she said, don't put me in the camera. That's what my son says. Don't put me in the camera. <laughs> Cass said, Dixie, take one for the team. I will, just not on camera. Don't you put me on camera. Here we go. One, two, three, go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Is that because it's delicious or you burn your mouth? <laughs> It's so good. How's that look? Sketchy. Beautiful. It um, it looks beautiful. Beautiful. So, for the pasta. um, yeah. It looks really good. Oh my gosh. So everybody, foodtalktv.com, you've got to go vote. Um, voting ends at six o'clock. Um, and we we got to pick a winner. We're gonna we're gonna announce the winner tomorrow night at eight p.m. on Grub Match Two with Sketchy Flay, and that's so Chris. So, um, yeah, go vote and be sure to follow Food Talk TV. This is how you do it, y'all. You get the chicken noodles and polenta. Um, and of course, moly. So, Dixie's doing it right. So, mm -hmm. uh, for any, anybody just tuning in. I made chicken cacciatore. Beautiful. The traditional way where you cook it in the sauce after giving it a good crust on the skin. I made homemade pasta noodles. Look at those sketchy. Beautiful. And I made polenta. Nice. And that's the chicken cacciatore with the uh, linguine. And this is chicken cacciatore with the polenta. Beautiful. Oh, and my, this is my plate. I mixed it all together. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> so everybody, thank you for joining. I appreciate all the support. If you're not following me at Chef Bradley One, please go follow me over there. Um, I'm going to start going live more since my shoulder's getting better. Um, I had a really good live last night. Thank you, Sketchy and Bama. Um, it was fun. I mean, I would have never thought that my first live in months by myself, I would have had 10,000 viewers. So that was that was humbling, and I appreciate everybody's exciting. Sushi Dude. Hey, Sushi Dude. <laughs> so thank y'all. Don't, don't forget, tonight, Christine's cooking at what time? Seven Eastern. Seven Eastern. Tomorrow, you got Dan cooking at six Central. And then we have Grub Match 2 tomorrow night at eight Central Standard Time. Everybody have an awesome Sunday. Thank you, Sketchy. All right. Appreciate your help. And Enjoy your cacciatore, man. It looks really good. Y'all have a good day. Bye. See you later. Bye.